Hello, welcome to 2.8, Solve Compound Inequalities. In this section we have two objectives, solve compound inequalities with and, solve compound inequalities with or. Let's understand this uh, language here. Compound inequality means, well the word compound or compound means to add on, right? So here also it means the same way, which means the inequality is made up of made up of two inequalities and they usually contain the word and that separates them or the word or to, that separates the inequalities. So you have two inequalities in one and those are the kinds of inequalities we're going to look at. Well you're going to need this uh, if you're moving towards statistics there you'll come across these things um, also, uh, you know, in real life, uh, there are other places where these things uh, will matter. But uh, for higher uh, levels of math, you will need these uh, ideas or concepts in your, uh, mostly in your, in your statistics. Solve 6x minus 3 less than 9 and... 2x plus 7 greater than or equal to 3. That's how the compound inequality looks. It's got two inequalities, but they are together in one uh, problem. Graph the solution. And write the solution in inequality. A solution in interval notation. Now that you've had a look at the problem, you know, you can actually see how the two parts look. Well, if you look at the word and, what they're saying is they're saying solve this and this, which means the x's that are solved in the left inequality, left part and the right part, both of them must be utilized simultaneously. Okay. So you could think of and as intersection, okay, where they overlap. And or could be seen as the union, okay, this or this. So you could take one or the other. And so here we see it more as being combined. There we're only looking at the overlap. When we say and, we want this and this, we're looking for the overlap. Well, with union, it is being combined when you use the word or. Well, let's, let's actually look at the problem so you can begin to see what um, the intersection begins to make, how, how the intersection begins to make sense. Okay, I write out the problem, 6x minus 3 less than 9 and 2x plus 7 greater than or equal to 3. We're working on them simultaneously, but um, for the sake of clarity, let's do the left part first and then go ahead and solve the right part. Okay. We like to isolate x. <coughs> Excuse, me. <coughs> Excuse me. So add 3 on both sides. Clears it. Leaving us with 6x less than. Well, we add it. When you add or subtract, the inequality doesn't change, so no worries here. 9 plus 3 is 12. Then we divide by 6 on both sides. Well, when we divide or multiply, we need to be cautious, but understand that you're dividing by a positive quantity, no change to the inequality symbol. So that's, let's cancel that off. Six. Also cancels on the right side, but um, cross cancels. So x is less than 2. Okay. The word and has to be maintained. Okay. And let's come to the other side and uh, work that out. So 2x is greater than or equal to 3 minus 7. Did I write a 7? Yes. Okay. Uh, negative 4. Divide by 2 on both sides. Again, you're dividing by a positive quantity. No worries there. No change in symbol. 
x is, let me write a little closer. So x is greater than or equal to negative two. Okay, so we have these two things going on. Okay, so x is less than two and x is greater than or equal to negative two. So we need to take this answer, graph it on the number line, right? So let's draw the number line, mark zero. Well, the two players are the number two and the number negative two. So I just want to focus on those two numbers. I don't want to write too many other numbers, so it gets cluttered. Two and negative two, I'll mark those two. Let's take the first part, okay? This one is less than, that means to the left of. So x is less than two, I will mark that. And it's strictly less than, so I have to use parentheses, okay? And I'm going to use, or rather shade this region. That is x less than two. Then let's go to the uh, one here. It's x greater than or equal to negative two. Greater than means to the right of, okay? So I go to the right and it's uh, an equals bar there in the inequality, so I have to use a bracket at negative two, and I want to shade this region in blue. Okay. Well, <laughs> I was hoping that the blue and the green would uh, mix. Apparently it didn't. Okay. So I'm going to do a little uh, lower here. Right? So you can actually see the overlap. Now you see the word and, right? And means overlap intersection. Intersection is a more mathematical word, but overlap is a more of a, of a practical understanding. So you're trying to see where this overlaps. The region where it overlaps is between negative two and two, because that's where I see the green and the blue. So my interval notation, uh, because right now this is a visual view, so you can see where it overlaps, but we need to write out the solution so we can actually understand in a nutshell where it happens. So the leftmost end of the overlapping region is negative two with a bracket, and the rightmost end where the overlap region ends is at two with a parentheses. So this is our interval notation. I will just say this is the region where it overlaps, or overlapping region, green plus blue, right? That is what we have, and that's our solution. So we're doing what we did previously, but we're uh, in the previous section, but we're just doing two things in one, and we're going one step further to see where they overlap. Okay. Uh, let's do one more, uh, which is, uh, you know, it's an inequality with, with parentheses, so let's try to see how we will handle that. Solve three times two x plus five, less than or equal to 18, and two times x minus seven, less than negative six. Okay, so we need to again graph, and write the solution in interval notation, okay? Um, we um, have to rewrite the question. And the word and. Okay, now it's time for us to begin to apply the properties. So first we use the distributive property to get rid of the parentheses. 6x plus 15 less than or equal to 18. Then, um, of course, move things around to get uh, x by itself on the left. Here I'm very particular about keeping the x on the left because it's so much easier to do the graphing when x is on the left with the inequalities. With equalities we have no problem, right? With equalities um, both sides are the same so we don't really get confused. But here with x being isolated on the left it makes it very easy to see if we need to shape the left side or the right side because x less than or x greater than is easier to interpret negative 15 on both sides.
that leaves us with 6x less than or equal to 3. One more step, divide by 6, divide by 6. Again, you uh, are dividing by a positive quantity, no change to the inequality. Less than or equal to 3 over 6 is a half, because 3, again, let me show that to you. 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6. So again, please don't try to do this in your head or try to do it in a hurry and just write it as 2 because you see the 3 and the 6 in your mind, it's telling you 2. Please see where their positions um, remain and write it as you see it. The 1 remains on the top, 2 remains on the bottom, so it's x is less than or equal to half. Bring the and down. Because without the and, you really don't know whether to interpret, whether to, sorry, overlap or combine. and. Um, basically interpret your answer. So distribute here 2x minus 14 less than negative 6 plus 14 on both sides. Two x less than is that an eight? Yes. Divide by two. x is, okay, let me write that a little closer. x is less than, that's a 4. Again, um, do it manually, so you can see it. Because uh, for the left part, when you did 3 over 6, if you're using a calculator, it's going to give you 0.5. Okay? And um, for uh, the courseware, for your exam answers, we like them all to be in fractions. So you have to leave it as a fraction and not as a decimal. So don't just rely on your calculator. You should be able to do these things manually. Let's draw the number line. Zero. So I have two players. I have a half. So let me put the half here. And I put the four a little far, far away. So half and four. Now, um, x is less than or equal to a half. That means it's to the left. Less than is left, LL. That's how I like to keep it. And, I, and that works only if your x is on the left side, right? Of the inequality, so you can interpret it. Okay, it's to the left. x is less than or equal to a half. So because of the equals bar, I put a bracket, but I know I have to shade it on the left. Then let's uh, look at this one. Is x less than 4? Less than means left again. So x is to the left of 4. I use parentheses because you have um, strict inequality. And I'm going to shade it in the, below the line so we could actually see the overlap of the uh, regions. And the leftmost end is negative infinity, rightmost is infinity. Okay, so let's look at the overlap region. The region where it overlaps is um, negative infinity, from negative infinity all the way up to a half. So the leftmost end of my overlap region is negative infinity, comma, rightmost end is half. Negative infinity is always, parentheses, positive half, gets a bracket. I, if, you, if you do it correctly on the graph, you can just use what you see on the graph, the bracket, right? So you got that, and that's the overlap region. Let's write that out again. Overlapping region. Again, it's the green plus blue. We know we're looking for overlapping region because the word and tells us we should find the intersection of the overlap. All right. Let's uh, go into the uh, OR part. Okay. Now what you see is uh, in OR, okay, you will not see two separate equations, I mean, sorry, inequalities that has the word OR in between. Instead, you'll have them combined as a double inequality. What do I mean by that? Let's uh, take a less than x less than b. This is a double inequality, right? You see two inequalities there. 
This is double inequality, let me write that. I, I apologize, um, I wrote the word or. I should have written the word and. I apologize. Sometimes the word and may not be used. That's what I meant to say, but I did not say that. Sometimes the word and is not explicitly written. Um, and so we use double inequality instead. So let me write that out here. What this means is, okay, first when, let me read this. A less than X less than B, okay? But if you broke them into two parts, let's look at, look at the first one, okay? What this means is A is less than X, right? This means X is greater than A, right? If A is less than X, then X is greater than A, right? That's one part. Let's take the other part, X is less than B x is less than b. Okay. So if you combine these two things, what we're, what we're looking at is x is greater than a and x is less than b. Those are the two parts. So you see the word and here? The word and is written explicitly here when you split them up like that. But if you had a situation where x is greater than one quantity but less than another quantity, it's easier to write them out as a double inequality. And uh, the idea of a double inequality is that you will uh, do what you do with regular inequalities, but you will apply it to all the parts. You have three parts, right? The left part, the middle part, and the, and the right part. So we have to apply it on all three parts. I'll show it to you in an example, and you can see how that works. Graph. Um, and also solve, so I'll uh, probably write solve negative 4 less than or equal to 3x minus 7 less than 8, okay? And then it says graph and write. You know, you know the rest, <laughs> graph and write the solution in uh, interval notation. Okay, the biggest clue is you have three parts, okay? Left part, middle part, and this is the right part. Because you have double inequality, it breaks into three parts, okay? The biggest hint is the middle part is where you will isolate the variable. Okay, and whatever you do um, in, to, to move things around, you will do them on all three parts. So let's look at that here. Let me write this out. Negative four less than or equal to three X minus seven less than eight. I need to isolate X in the middle part. So I need to get rid of the seven. So I have to add seven to get rid of it, but, but I need to balance it. So I will balance it throughout. So I balance it on the left, middle, and the right. Okay, that's the one extra thing because what you would do in two separate problems, you're trying to do it in one single problem with two inequalities. Therefore, you would apply it across the double inequality. Negative four plus seven is a three, less than or equal to three X, less than, um, 15. Okay. Now we have to get, uh, get the x by itself, so isolate the x by dividing out by 3. Again, when you divide it out by 3, you divide every part by 3. It was a positive number that you divided, so no change in the inequality. That will take care of the 3 in the middle. So 3 over 3 is 1, less than or equal to x, less than 5. Now, with double inequality, the interpretation is very, very easy because what this simply means is x is in between 1 and 5. Okay. So it already gives you the overlap region. That's why we like this uh, version. Okay. So this is interpreted as x lies 
in between 1 and 5, 1 included in the solution, 5 not included. That's what this means. So if you were to draw the number line, it's just um, marking your x. This is 0. So here's 1 and here's 5. All you have to do is just simply, uh, well, 1 gets the bracket. That's the part you need to remember. 1 gets the bracket. 5 gets the parentheses. And you simply shade inside. No worries about overlap region. And then immediately write out its uh, interval notation. 1 gets a bracket, 5 gets parentheses, and you've got your answer. So um, let's remember again, double inequality is another way to ask an and question. And uh, the way it works is you have three parts and you will do the inequality properties uh, on all three parts, remembering to isolate x in the middle part. Okay. Yeah. Now we can move to or. Solve. 5 minus 3x less than or equal to negative 1 or 8 plus 2x less than or equal to 5. Again, graph and solve. Well, everything remains the same uh, until we begin to graph uh, and find the uh, region. So it's a good time for you to actually pause the video, complete the problem, then play the video to see if you um, share the same answer as mine. Okay. Negative three x less than negative six. Divide by negative three. X is greater than or equal to positive two. Okay. Inequality reverses. Why? Because we divided by a negative quantity. Right, so that was a good one. We had a problem that, oh, oops, went too far. Okay, negative eight, negative eight. Two x less than or equal to negative three. Divide by two, divide by two. X is less than or equal to negative 3 over 2. Again, let that not bother you. It's a perfectly fine number. So um, we now have to graph these two things. Negative 3 over 2 is, a, is negative 1 and a half. So that kind of gives you a perspective where it will be. But it's on the negative side, so not to worry there. So that's negative 3 over 2, and you have positive 2. These are the two players. Let's graph them individually and see how the region is to be marked. Okay, so you have uh, x greater than or equal to 2. Greater than means to the right of, and there's an equals bar. Let's do this up a little bit. Okay, and let's shade this region. Okay, and then we have x less than or equal to negative. Uh, 3 over 2. So less than means to the left of. So let me get this. Again, you get a bracket because it is included. And you got that. This is negative infinity. This is infinity. All right. Now let's come to the keyword, which is or. Or means combine. Okay. Or means actually union. That's the math word, but the clue for us is to combine. 
combined means you need to get both green and the blue in your answer not where they overlap you're getting all of green and all of blue okay so i will say well, well uh, do you see that green and blue do they run continuously no they don't they don't you have a gap in between where nothing is shaded right so when you have a gap you have to kind of understand that the union has had a gap and so you need to kind of uh, indicate that in your answer so your answer graphically is this, but when you interpret it in the interval notation, let's uh, start from left to right. The leftmost is blue, but it doesn't matter, blue or green, we're gonna get all of them. So that's all of blue, so negative infinity all the way to negative three over two, the bracket. And then because of the gap here, okay, because of the gap, we use the union symbol, okay, you're uniting these two intervals that have a gap, so the U represents the gap. Okay. After a gap, you have the green starting. Leftmost end of green is two with a bracket and goes on up to infinity. So your answer is kind of stretched out, but it is, it's got two parts, okay? The blue part and the green part. So I will just say the answer is or means all of blue plus all of green okay if they did overlap doesn't matter because you want all of blue and all of green okay if they don't overlap that doesn't matter but you do have to remember to bring the u union symbol to include that to indicate the gap so you're basically linking combining joining these two disjoint regions by using the u Let's look at one last problem. The video is getting a little long now by this time, but uh, again, um, this is a different line of thought, so I'm not worried about the length as such of the video, but I prefer to keep it short. Nevertheless, so you have the ability to pause, play forward, rewind, so that is not really a problem in this particular section. If it's too long, you can always skip through the video to the parts you'd like to listen or one over four. And negative one, graph, and write the solution in interval notation. Okay, again, pause the video and you can move ahead, raise ahead, complete the problem, come back and check if they match. Seven. Again, at this point, you could have cleared the fraction, that's a possibility, but at this point, uh, I'd rather do the Um, steps are uh, as, as usual. Multiply both sides by the reciprocal of uh, the coefficient of x. So that's the only way you can be assured that x will be by itself. Less than or equal to multiply them across because they are fractions. 21 over 2. Well, here again, you have one over four being multiplied. So again, for, for variety, I'm gonna do distribution here. One over four X plus one over four times eight. You could clear the fraction because that would be easier. But again, for variety, I would like to show this to you. So I have one over four X plus two greater than or equal to negative one. Move the two over to the other side. 
1 over 4x greater than or equal to negative 3. And then I multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 1 over 4, which is 4 over 1. x is greater than or equal to negative 12. So let, let me write this out again. Um, less than or equal to 21 over 2. Or x is greater than or equal to negative 12. Okay, that's the final answer. I've so we have solved the inequality. Now it's time to put this on the number line. Parts of the number line there. Okay, 21 over 2, use your calculator, it comes out to be 10 and a half. So um, eyeball it and kind of place it there, 21 over 2. Negative 12 is somewhere on the left side, so that's negative 12. Okay, so x is less than or equal to 21 over 2, less than means left of, so this is happening to the left of 21 over 2. And then x is greater than or equal to negative 12. The equals, both have equals bar, which means I'm going to use bracket for both of them. This one opens to the right. It's that, right? All right, now when you look at this, we have the word or, which means to combine all of blue and all of green. So start from the leftmost end and keep scanning your uh, number line. Do you see any gaps? Any gap where there's an unshaded region? No, there are no gaps. I do see some places where they overlap, but with all, the overlap doesn't matter, right? So we want to see if there are any gaps or not. If there are any gaps, then we have to uh, write the interval that's shaded, use a U for the gap, and then continue with the uh, remaining shaded region. But here I don't see any gap. It's the whole number line is either filled by a blue or a green. Therefore, the solution is all of blue and all of green, which means it starts at negative infinity, no gap, goes, goes all the way to infinity. No gap. All of blue plus all of green. No consideration for overlapping region in all conditions. All right, I hope that helps. I will see you in the next video.